So this right here is my downhill mountain bike helmet. And it's pretty cool, but honestly, it, <laughs> it kind of looks like because the reality is that I painted this myself not too long ago and I did a really bad job. I mean, up close, it's got paint drips, which I tried to fix and it, it just didn't, it didn't do anything. Uh, it just honestly made it look worse. And I've got these vinyl stickers on here, which you might be thinking, oh, that looks awesome, but it really only looks good on pictures or camera. Up close, you're gonna see that it's starting to peel and it's folding over in some places. And actually the, the, the gloss on it, it's really starting to fade. So what I wanna do is paint this to a new, more unique looking color. So just a disclaimer before doing this, it does require some patience and work. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to get their hands dirty or you're a snowflake or any of that kind of stuff, then save up money, send it to a professional painter like my buddy Technar, and just have someone like that do the, do the job for you. So let's get started then. What needs to be done? The process is pretty straightforward, and as long as you follow each step precisely, you shouldn't have any problems with it at all. And you shouldn't mess it up like I did the first time I painted this helmet. So right now, step number one, let's go to the hardware store, go pick up some of the stuff we need. All right, so to do this correctly, supposedly we're gonna do a primer as the very first layer that we do um and then we have to choose the base coat and that's kind of where like i don't really know entirely what i'm gonna do yet but i know for sure on top we're gonna do a clear coat so uh, the clear coat obviously is gonna be super glossy right so that's kind of the whole idea i'm thinking i'm gonna get this metallic it's like a copper color i think that would be really cool um but then what to mix it with i was thinking of like maybe having this half this color and then the other half like black somehow and then spray it or do like a drip of some kind so uh screw it let's go for it where are these blacks at all right gonna do the crystal enamel clear coat right here and then they don't have the black that we need so i think i have some at home so i'll just wing it hopefully i have some at home to use but all right here's what we need uh now let's get some sandpaper I'll do one of the 120 grits and one of the 320 grits too. Uh, and we'll finish off with the 320. I think that should be good, so. And if not, then it's gonna look bad. So we'll try out those ones, go for that. And then this is the one thing I absolutely hate buying because they're so freaking unnecessarily expensive. You gotta get yourself some tape. And I'm gonna do the, uh, this is the one inch one uh, because it's a smaller area that we're gonna be taping off. You need to do this. You absolutely need to if you want it to come out looking good. But let me look at this. Six dollars and cents for that little thing. Oh, oh, stab in the heart. Oops, sorry, sorry, heat waves. Also guys, super freaking important. Get yourself a protective mask, uh, one of these N95s, something that is actually gonna filter out the uh, all the paint particles. Dude, you don't wanna breathe this in. This is gonna give you bad illnesses. So don't, don't breathe this stuff in. You wanna live to an old age. I've got one of these at home. So these are probably the best ones, these actual respirators. They clear out, they filter out pretty much everything. So uh, be a good idea to invest 20 to 50 bucks in one of those things. So we have everything that we need. The first and easiest part of this entire process, let's take this whole thing apart and get it down to just the shell. So I've got all the padding taken out now. And one of the things you might, you might wanna do, don't forget how this stuff goes in there. Cause I will tell you, I've taken this stuff out before in other helmets and completely forgot how it goes back in because you have, especially if you have like MIPS or something, you've got all these little tabs and stuff that stick in there. Don't, don't forget to note, like at least note how it's done or take a picture before and after so that you can kind of remember how it is, right? So there we go. So we're all done. Now the next thing is I gotta peel off all these freaking stickers. So I'm finding out the hard way <laughs> that this is what happens when you don't use primer when you paint stuff. 
So if you see on this side, I was already able to get the decal off. That's all this mess that you see right here. You can literally see underneath the old paint job that was on this that came from the factory. And what's happening is because I didn't use primer when I originally painted this, the paint is literally just peeling off like vinyl wrap. I mean, look at this. That's a piece of paint right there, which the vinyl has stuck to. So it's literally peeling off. That's not supposed to do that. So that's why you want to use primer. All right, so this is the part I'm absolutely dreading to do, but it has to happen. Sanding is by far my least favorite thing to do, but in order for us to actually have our helmet look good at the very end, is we have to sand it. We just absolutely have to. So what I'm gonna start off with is my 120 grit sandpaper. So I'm gonna start off with this just to get those larger imperfections off of the helmet. And then once I do a whole pass on the 120, I'm gonna whip out the 320 grit. This will smooth out everything out. It'll make it look super nice. And then that'll allow also the primer and paint to go on without issues and also to look nice and smooth, nice and buttery and super professional looking. So the sandpaper is sitting right now in a tub of water and I'm doing that to make the sandpaper nice and wet. It'll make sanding a lot easier and it'll make the sandpaper last a lot longer as well. Um, and it's just a lot, it's just a lot cleaner. It's terrible, you don't want dust going everywhere too. So this way I can do it without wearing a mask or anything like that. All right, let's get to it. So the helmet is finally nice and smooth. The sanding is done. I was able to go through, clean it off. I got all of the rough edges sanded down. Everything is buttery smooth. The only cost to all of this, unfortunately, is that I'm gonna have arthritis in about five years. So that's a downside, but who cares? Let's keep on going. So the terrible, boring, tedious work is finally over and now it's time to actually make some progress to make this thing look different. But first, we've gotta clean it off. I'm using acetone, not just because I love the way that it smells, but because this stuff works really good for cleaning it up and making sure there's no greases or any kind of oils on there that are gonna destroy the paint. Because what happens if you have oil or even your finger grease, it's gonna completely ruin the paint. You're gonna see it on there. So uh, you don't wanna redo all that stuff, so let's, get this thing cleaned off. Oh, and oh, by the way, I was joking. You don't actually want to breathe this stuff in, so that's why I'm outside doing this. All right, so it's spick and spam clean now, and it's time for the primer. But of course, before we do anything, safety first. So the prime job came out a lot better than I expected it to, which is really good. Now we gotta wait about 20 minutes, then we can do our paint job. So I'm horribly unprepared. I have no idea what I'm actually gonna do for the actual paint job on this, but I've got these three colors. I'm thinking what I'll do is with this rose kind of copper color and this black, I'm gonna do like rose on the front side and then black on the back side and then have it be like a fade somewhere in the middle right here. And then on top of it, I'm gonna do a glitter blast. So I didn't show you guys buying this. I bought this after we had gone to Home Depot. So this is something different. It only costs like five bucks or so, but this is a glitter blast. Uh, I'm just gonna try to do like a little bit of glitter on both of them. I have no idea. Let's just see how it turns out. Okay, that looks sick. Oh my God. All right, this looks really cool. So I think I'm just gonna do this whole, the whole helmet this color and then just do the glitter on top because this, this is way cooler than I thought it would be. Ooh, look at that. All 
All right, so this color here came out so much better than I expected it to. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be this glossy or the color was gonna be this vibrant. I thought it was just gonna be kind of pinkish, but it's got like, if you look at it, it's got all different kinds of like hues and, and it, I don't know, it looks awesome. So I kind of want to leave it like this, but honestly, I think it looks sick with some glitter and I've never used glitter. So I really hope that we don't, let's hope it doesn't mess it up. All right, so I'm gonna try, before I do the whole entire helmet, I'm gonna try just on the visor and see what this does, so that, just so I don't ruin the whole entire paint job. This looks nuts! Oh my god! So I think I'm gonna just do the whole entire thing, because that looks pretty sick to me. Good. <laughs> hey, this is going to be the craziest paint job I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. It's got like little flakes and it's got some black flakes and some, gro some gold flakes. It looks crazy. Alright, so we've allowed the helmet and the bill to dry for a couple hours and now it's time to do the clear coat, the last step in the spray process. So let's get to it. I've already done the bill and it came out really good. Uh, now we're just going to do the rest of the helmet. moment of truth it's the time where we start to unwrap everything and it's been drying all night so it should be okay to the touch but uh oh geez let's hope it comes out okay <laughs> oh that color combo looks dude doesn't that look sick <laughs> dude, that looks That's so crazy. freaking oh my god dude this is nuts dude this is the craziest paint job back <laughs> i've never seen a paint color like this color combo Holy moly! Oh my god, dude! That is freaking nuts! I mean, look at that. That is unreal. Dude, that's so sick! That is such a bizarre color. Oh my lord. But we're not done yet. I've got these decals here, just random things that I'm gonna put on it and they're all white. So it's gonna go with the whole white and the uh, whatever color this is, color combo. So, so we're done. Look, this is this is what I did, and I, <laughs> it kind of looks. I don't know if I like it very much. It, I mean, it's a unique color. I'll give it that, but it kind of looks like someone. Uh, it looks like poop with sparkles. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That's what the color looks like. So, I mean, that's it. You can paint, you know, stuff at home. It's not that hard. It just takes like 12 hours and you're gonna get super dirty and you're gonna get blisters on your fingers and you're probably gonna breathe in chemicals and, you know, and then probably have a shorter lifespan because of that. But hey, look at this. You got a unique helmet. Well, anyway, yeah, that's it.